Welcome to Fast Click Massive Tutorial. This video will cover the insert effects and I will be providing you with basic knowledge and examples if necessary. There are two insert effects that you can use in the various points within the signal chain and you can also use these once at a time. The result of each insert effect can also vary depending on where the insert effect takes place in the signal chain. There are a variety of insert effects to choose from using the pop-up menu above. Each parameter or control vary depending on the chosen insert effect. Here are the types of insert effects. This is a very simple delay that creates an echo type effect by taking an incoming signal and delaying it by a certain amount before it passes through to the next module in the signal chain. This has a dry and wet control which adjusts the balance between the unprocessed signal and the delayed or processed signal. This control adjusts the delay time, having the time being shorter on the left and longer on the right. This samples incoming signals at a given time interval, which then gets held until the next sample is taken. This results to a stepped or temporary quantized audio signal. This also has dry and wet control that works the same way. This adjusts the time interval or the frequency at which the signal is sampled. Turning it to the left becomes slower and turning it to the right becomes quicker. Slower sample rates will result in a deeper and harsh distortion effect. Quicker sample rates result in high and subtle distortion sounds. In general, this effect can be used to create different distortion effects depending on the settings. This is a digital effect creating distortion in the signal by reducing the bit depth. It is a term to describe a certain value of resolution of sound data, just like images and videos with its resolution. The more bit depth, the better quality. This also has a dry and wet control and a crush control that adjusts the amount of bit depth reduction which creates the distortion effect. This effect is commonly used for digital degradation by having subtle crush control settings which adds a slight noise to the sound. This shifts the frequency of incoming signals and it is actually a common effect found in analog synthesizers but rarely implemented in digital ones. This consists of a dry and wet control and a pitch control moving downward to the left and upward to the right. You can adjust the main pitch on the pitch control through the key tracking oscillator page. This effect contains two adjustable filters placed one after the other. The high pass control adjusts the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter. The low pass control does the same but with a low pass filter. 
These are handy to have to insert a quick filter at different points of the signal chain. This routes your signal through a wave shaper, which the amplitude of the signal is mapped to the peak and trough of a sine wave. This has a dry and wet control and a drive control that adjusts the amount of distortion going from less when turned to the left and heavier when turned to the right. This is similar to a wave shaping effect like the sine shaper, but with a different shaping curve in a shape of an S. When turning the drive control, the transition becomes a rectangular shape. This has a dry and wet control in the same drive control as the sine shaper. This effect is self-explanatory by the name. It chops off any signal above its threshold. This has a dry and wet control and a drive control which adjusts the threshold producing distorting effects. This ends my tutorial. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel.